Today's lesson is about area of parallelogram. In this lesson, we will learn what is parallelogram, how to derive the formula to calculate the area of parallelogram. By applying appropriate formula, calculate the area of parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are congruent and parallel. The base of a parallelogram. Either pair of parallel sides of a parallelogram are called the bases of the parallelogram. The height of a parallelogram. The shortest distance, perpendicular distance between the bases of a parallelogram is called the height of the parallelogram. The height of the parallelogram is always perpendicular to the bases. This video is about Finding the area of a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram, so is this. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. It looks a bit like a rectangle that's been nudged over. How can we find the area of a parallelogram? Well, don't be put off by the sloping sides because here's a way of thinking that's going to help you. If I cut a triangle off this side and move it over to this side, we get a form that is so much easier to work with. I didn't take anything away. The entire area of the shape is still there. I just rearranged it to form a rectangle. And you know how to find the area of a rectangle, length times width. But for a parallelogram, we say the area is base times height. When we have to find the area of a parallelogram, we think of it like a rectangle, like I just showed you. A rectangle has right-angled corners, so we have to form a right angle. We find the base, here it's 8 centimeters, and then we run a perpendicular line off the base to get the height. The height forms a right angle with the base just like the right angled corners of a rectangle. That is a key point to remember. So here's our height, it's 4 centimeters. Now we have measurements on two sides that meet at a right angle so we're ready to go. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. So 8 times 4 is 32 centimeters squared. Never forget units of measurement squared. What about this parallelogram? Here's the base, 6 meters. Here's the height, 9 meters. It doesn't matter where the height line is shown. It's always the same height because these two lines are parallel, the same distance apart. Therefore, the height will be the same. The height is at right angles to the base, and that's all that counts. So, base times height. 6 times 9 is 54 meters squared. What if the parallelogram looks like this? This time, the base measurement is on the side, and the height seems to be going horizontally. What's up with that? Guess what? It doesn't matter. As long as you are forming a right angle with the base and a height, you're good to go. This is the same as this. It's just an image that has been rotated. Don't let it stump you. Okay, so our base measures 5 centimeters and our height is 3 centimeters. Area is base times height. So, 5 times 3 is 15 centimeters squared. Right, now you're primed and ready, you need to... Well, class, now we will practice one example. Find the area of the given parallelogram. Can you tell me which side is base? Well, the base of this parallelogram is 9 meter and height 6 meter. So by applying the formula, you can easily calculate 
area of this parallelogram area is equal to base times height so by substituting the values you can get your answer the answer will be 54 and which unit we will write square meters excellent now look at another example in this example you can see area is given but height is missing now students by applying the same formula you can find out the missing side area is equal to base times height this time height is missing so by substituting the values you will get your answer it's your turn look at these shapes and find out the area Check your answer. Don't forget to put the unit. Now look at this example. In this case, you can see that area is given but different sides are missing. So by applying the same formula, you can solve it easily. Check your answer. Hopefully, you got the concept of finding out the area of parallelogram and by using the same formula, now you can easily calculate the missing sides. Thank you class. In case of any query, you can ask your teachers in Google class. Goodbye.